Hello, this is going to be a quick one. Uh, I want to introduce you to a very versatile um, HF amateur radio antenna tuner. And uh, it's this one. It's made in England. It's the SEM Transmatch. And uh, it tunes antennas between 160 meters all the way up to 10 meters. And the beauty of this one is um, it's fully balanced. It's a Z-match. What that is, I'll explain to you later. Um, you can, of course, connect any coax fed antenna to this uh, to this plug uh, socket and also you have these two uh, terminals for your open wire feed line which is my way to go really um, or an end fed wire it can be fed in here as well it's fully balanced as i said it's a z match so um, z matches act also as um, bandpass filters what that means is operating frequency, uh, frequencies above or under your operating frequencies will be suppressed so cleaner signals and uh, less interference in your receiver. This one is particularly clean. It's got uh, two very slow, uh, very nice slow motion drives, the uh, range switch and the easy tune. The easy tune basically what it does it provides a wide range um, signal across the HF bands and you just tune your signal meter uh, of your transmitter uh, of your receiver to the highest output and uh, it's, it provides a, f a perfect 50 or match. You don't cause any QRM on the bands that way. Um, this one has also been fitted with the um, optional 100 watt dummy load. And uh, when this tuner was sold in its day, it set your bag around 300 pounds, which at the time was a lot of, a lot of money. But it's handmade, it's perfect quality. I mean, this one is probably now, what, 40 years old? And it's very, very clean indeed. And it comes from a, uh, it comes from a non-smoker, thankfully. And uh, if you do smoke, you should really give up. Trust me, I used to smoke for many, many years. Um, right. Um, yeah. If you can get one of these, get one and make a cheap uh, doublet antenna. Basically, it's a, it's a random uh, dipole fed with open wire feed line. Very efficient. Hardly any power loss and uh, it works across all hf bands and it doesn't cost 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 a lot um, these ones are getting rare now especially in these conditions condition some of them are scratched some of them have have been uh, modified inside or additional outputs have been added this one is clean as it came from the factory um, some specs regarding this fine um, piece of equipment um, as I said, it, uh, the matching range is, 50, uh, is 15 to 5,000 ohms, so that's a very wide range uh, for balanced and unbalanced feeder. The range is 1.8 to 30 megahertz. It handles 1,000 watts of power, so plenty for, it for, the, for this country and other countries as well. Um, it weighs in at 4.5 pounds. It's a steel case uh, and uh, has a black cover. I took the cover off for your convenience to see what's, what it looks like inside. The uh, rear connectors are, of course, the coax connectors and two connectors for your um, open wire line and your NFET antenna. Uh, these are all school uh, terminals, of course. Uh, on the front panel, you see the tune and coupling uh, slow motion drives and uh, the, the band dial switch between 80 to 10 meters and 160 meters. There's a function switch for direct tuner or the dummy load. The dummy load, as I already said, is fitted. And uh, this is without doubt one of the best tuners I can come across. And it won't let you down, it won't break, uh, they are just great. If you see one for reasonable money, go ahead and uh, get one. What is reasonable money? Of course, uh, money is relative. Um, a crappy MFJ tuner sets you back 100, 120 pounds, so for this one, I personally would spend up to 150, even 200 pounds, and it will last you mm, a lifetime. So uh, I promise you this is going to be a, a quick one. With that said, um, thanks for watching. Please do subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.